everyone it's your girl china aka china wine and welcome to my castle today we're going to be seeing what types of people do you attract the most okay so power one is success power two is wonders and power three is happiness okay so pick your pile and i will see you there what is up my pile ones if you chose success then congratulations you have found your pile and we're just going to get right into what types of people do you attract the most okay so first we have the queen of cups water sign energy cancer scorpio pisces then we have the three of swords ruled by libra and then we have the Ten of Swords, ruled by Gemini. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress, which is Venus energy. You could be a Taurus or Libra, or the people you could you attract the most could be Taurus or Libras. And then we have the Eight of Swords, which is more Gemini energy on the bottom of the deck. Okay, <sighs> Power One, you all attract people that feel like they need fixing. You all attract people that are like in need of like a true, true friend. It's like you all, the people that come to you, it's almost like even if they do have lots of people around them with this Ten of Swords, it's almost like they're all fake. And like they'll willingly be around these people just because maybe just because it's all they know or because they're afraid to be alone. But you're that one person who is like you genuinely care with the queen of cups you genuinely genuinely care you genuinely want to know about like all the things that have hurt them in the past and not only that you will remember what they tell you as well you will remember what they tell you um and you also attract you could also attract a lot of emotionally unavailable people in which like when they come to you they start to learn like how to be emotionally available or start to learn that they want to be emotionally av available because this eight of swords and this empress is giving me like you're like the yin and they're used to being in their yang energy or they're just not at all in tune with their emotions and you're the one who's like hey it's okay to be sad <laughs> it's okay to have feelings and they're like what feelings ew yuck <laughs> basically but um and i'm not saying like while they're even like if there's anybody that you know happens to not work out with you even in just a friendship sense i'm not saying that they always immediately implement being emotionally available but it's more like from you regardless of their time with you regardless of it's actually when it's with you or after you they they owe it to you or they look to you for that guidance of being emotionally available um let's look at some oracle okay so first we have trust yeah you're just you're just overall a very trustworthy person people like trust you a whole lot um and the people you attract like i said are people that don't really have anybody to trust they don't have anybody they feel like they can really trust so even the people they have around them they're not even people they trust for real they're not even people that they would really be able to rely on these are the people that are are known for doing everything these this could be people that get used often you know and they would never say this a lot of these people are like very very prideful that you attract but at the same time it's like they're afraid to be alone and they like to be helpful but they don't even understand the idea of really being used and if they do they kind of don't want to say anything about it because of their pride um we have the blue flame spontaneous awakening activation integration time so this is giving me like yin and yang with the blue and the red this is what i was saying about them like learning them learning how to be like more in their feminine energy how to be more receptive how to be more understanding and patient with their emotions we have strange valentine love is strange you might be the tough love kind of person as well you might be one who does not pull any punches at all when it comes to telling somebody off you all could be like the ones to be like oh like 
you know, just because you've had a terrible past or just because things are not going great for you, I'm not going to lie to you like everybody else. I'm not going to tell you things to just make you feel good. I'm going to tell you things to motivate you to do better, to get you out of the situation you're in, to stop you from repeating patterns. And it's like they really are people. Um, these kinds of types of people are really fond of you because you are somebody who will tell them things nobody else will tell them. And that's why they trust you so much because they're like, you will tell me the things nobody else is willing to tell me. Like clearly nobody else cares about me because if they did, they'd be telling me exactly what you tell me. And even if they come across as mad at first when you tell them certain things, and in reality, they're very grateful. They're grateful that you're telling them these things. On the bottom of the deck, we have truth, which is just what I was talking about, and thriving. Like, people can tell that you want nothing but the best for them. People can, those people can tell that, and that's why they're so attracted to you. That's why they gravitate to you. These people that may have a lot of trauma or just, or just don't know how to deal with their emotions, like, <laughs> this is funny. Hold on, let me show you. So, on the bottom of this deck, we have surrender to the sweetness, Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life, and we have water your garden, nourishment, body care, tenderness, and rest. You all are so nurturing. But what I was laughing at was when I split the deck and um karmic relationships, Orion energy, polarity, soul growth, and conflict came through. So, yeah, <laughs> you all are the catalyst for a lot of growth in these people's lives where it's like it's time to unvictimize yourself. Like you're not a victim anymore. You're no longer in these traumatic situations. It's time for you to, you know, move along in your journey now. You're the type that won't let people be stuck in their ways, but you're not like forced for anything. And that's another thing why people, these people are attracted to you because you're the type to be like, hey, if you want to go ahead and ruin the rest of your life and so be it, it ain't my life, but I'm gonna tell you this. Things aren't looking so good if you keep going in this particular direction. And then on the bottom of this deck, we have Marie Masquerade, Glamour, Intrigue, and Drama. And we have Grumpy Red Fairy, Be Your True Self. This is what I meant when I was saying like the people that you attract, they often have a lot of fake people around them. They may, they may be surrounded by lots and lots of drama. And you might often tell them like, yeah, it's because of the people you're around. Because it's like you and I just put this deck in sea storm calm amid chaos. That's what you are to them. This person might be surround. I'm saying this person. These people might be surrounded by loads and loads of drama. And while they're wondering like how they always end up in these situations, you're like, it's because of the people you're around. This is you want to keep this fakeness around you. This is the type of fakeness you'll attract. Like it's very simple. Um, so yeah, they kind of have, they don't, they're not used to being their true selves. And that also goes in line with them not trusting anybody, but you know, you can only do so much for them, part one. But yeah, that is, those are the types of people you all are attracting in your lives the most. But I think that is all that I have for you today, my pile ones. If you're going to pick another pile, I will see you there. If not, like if you want to, comment if you want to, subscribe if you want to, maybe even share. And I will see y'all next time. Bye. What is up, my pile twos? If you chose wonders, then congratulations, you have found your pile. And we're just going to get right into what types of people you attract the most. So first we have the five of wands, which is ruled by Leo. So you could attract a lot of Leos or you could be a Leo. We have the nine of swords, which is ruled by Gemini. We have temperance ruled by Sagittarius. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the nine of pentacles ruled by Virgo and the seven of wands ruled by um, Leo. <laughs> Okay, so you all attract a lot of competitive people, people that want to compete with you. You all attract people who have really huge egos and their egos rely on the way others perceive them. So you attract the people that they're tryhards, basically. They'll do anything to get a good reaction out of people. And it's like, you know, if they put in tons and tons and tons and tons of work, they won't be satisfied if nobody is like, hey, you put in a lot of work or hey, you did an amazing job. They wouldn't be satisfied with just the fact that they put their all into something. They'd be like, no, like it's not, I didn't do a good job unless other, somebody else tells me I did a good job, you know? 
like with the five wands they people really just love to compete with you and i get the vibe with temperance here that you make it look really really easy so you often without even trying without even knowing you make people's ego like just dwindle like you make people's ego go down to he double hockey sticks basically like from 100 to zero and once again with the nine of pentacles and the seven of wands it's like you do your thing like you work hard you know but like i said you make it look easy and to other people it looks very natural to you and you all may and because you all aren't so thirsty for the attention, because you can validate and acknowledge your own success and be happy with what you do on your own, it's like the acknowledgement and validation from ex outside people, from external sources, they just come naturally to you because you're just, you're not even worried about that. You're like, hey, like, I love what I did. I'm proud of what I did. And that's all that matters. And so they see you as a threat as well. They see you as like everything they want to be that they feel like they cannot ever um, live up to, basically. Um, <laughs> yeah. So very insecure people that you tend to attract um, the most. And it's almost like they're very competitive and they see you as this like, very like angelic being almost that's just super duper perfect and you often have to tell people like hey like i work hard sorry this is not luck this is not something that just happened i worked hard for everything that i have simple as that <laughs> but let's get into some oracle okay so first we have illumination yeah you all you all just are very clear headed. And that's the thing, you all are clear headed, especially about who you are as a person. So you don't, like I said, you don't need external validation, but as far as the people that you attract goes, they are very clouded in the head and they literally clout. I'm hearing the word clout now is that these are the people that need clout to function. It's like they need other people to see them, like they want to be seen at all times doing things that like are just like why do you need to be seen doing that nobody should have to tell you you're doing a good job like if you're drinking water getting hydrated nobody should have to congratulate you for doing something that your body literally needs that's the kind of energy i get and we have forge don't follow pave a new path be the leader you wish you had that's the thing you all are just a leader and you don't even need other people around you to be a leader. You don't need a pack. You all are just a leader within yourself. And everywhere you go, people often want to follow in your footsteps because they're like, Pow 2 looks like a person who knows what they're doing. Now, the people you attract want to be looked at like, well, <laughs> my bad, want to be looked at like this as well, but they're too busy looking at others. You can't be a leader when you're looking at others for a good job after you take every single step. You can't look at other people to be like, hey, am I going in the right direction? Like that does not make you a leader. Not that you can't ask for help, but this person wants just the extreme guidance, the extreme spoiled treatment. They want to be coddled, told what to do, basically, but want to call themselves a leader, you know? And we have Violet Duchess, stifled, bored, and stuck. And that's the thing. They like, these people are the type to wonder like why they don't get any fulfillment from anything why their life is not exciting and it's because they are superficial and they're looking too much towards external sources for validation and that's why they end up not being happy or satisfied with what they have going on and these types of people might project onto you a lot about what you have going on and try to make you feel small and you're not you never go for it <laughs> um on the bottom of the deck we have leadership and release and that's what you all are about you all are just calm cool and collected at least on the outside you appear to be you all handle you all handle like multitasking very well like you really do we have called soul gifts and training it's time to step up and the great severing mars energy anger conflict softening to love and that's another thing you all manage to bring lots of love into whatever you all doing like you lead with your heart as well like your heart is very in tune 
and that's another thing that the people you attract are missing they're missing the heart in it because they lead with ego and we have faceless ghosts and the haunted girl ghost people okay energy leeches and angel de los muertos transitions blah. <laughs> i'm struggling today transitions to the spirit realm and that's that's another thing that you teach people that you attract a lot in your life is that you have to believe in yourself like if you believe in nothing else you have to believe in yourself because even the people who believe in like a religion or believe in spirit and the universe their ancestors it's like you still have to believe in yourself and that's one of the other things that these people that you attract lack obviously is their own self-belief but um i think that is all that i have for you today my pile two is if you're gonna pick another pile i will see you there if not like if you want to comment if you want to subscribe if you want to maybe even share and i will see y'all next time bye what is up my pal threes <laughs> if you chose happiness then congratulations you have found your pile and we're just gonna get right into what types of people you attract the most all right so First, we have the Six of Pentacles ruled by Taurus. So you could be a Taurus or the people you attract the most could be Tauruses. We have the Ten of Pentacles, which is ruled by Virgo. We have the King of Cups, which is water sign energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Cups, more water sign energy, and the Six of Wands, which is Leo energy. Um... All right, so <laughs> you all, Pile 3, you all attract people that want to spoil you or take care of you or like baby you, teach you things, like people that want to set you up right in life, like people that just want to support you with the Six of Pentacles here. Um, with the Ten of Pentacles, you could naturally be the baby of your family. You could naturally be the baby of your family. Now... Mm. you could be the baby of your family or you could be the one who's often done a lot of the providing you could have been the ones who have grown up who had to grow up fast and who now takes care of all your family members you could also be the oldest um and it's like because you you may be very cute <laughs> like just cute not even height wise or whatever it's like you could just be cute in nature but i'm hearing like because you are so hard working and it's lots of masculine energy i'm feeling from you all so very like i gotta go get it myself i gotta take care of myself do everything myself um it's like because of that you all attract like you all still attract lots of masculine energy back at you but you attract some that are more balanced with their yin energy people that want to like give to you like they're like yeah i, I think i got to do everything myself too but hey i want to help you out <laughs> like i want to support you i want to give you things because a lot of people see like the vision with you they see the potential in you you're somebody who's very hard working and will get it by any means necessary so you attract a lot of people with the six of wands and the ace of cups that just really want to see you win like they just want to see you win nothing more nothing less and what makes uh and what makes these people attracted to you even more is that like you're the person who doesn't want help or you don't want to ask for help and you're very wary about receiving help because you're like mm, what do you want in, in return like what do you want from me <laughs> kind of energy very suspicious very skittish energy um but, but let's look at oracle okay so first we have diligence you all are very diligent and you also attract very diligent people where it's like they also like i was saying they also do everything by themselves for the most part but it's like they see so much potential in you and you attract people who may not have had the same support that they want to give you or they recognize they kind of see themselves in you so you might mirror the people you attract because they're like i wish i had support like and i see you not that you're struggling necessarily and you're very capable so it's like i know for sure if i invest my time my money my love into you like it'll definitely be all right like <laughs> um and we have water your garden nourishment body care tenderness and rest and that's another thing um people just want you to take 
care of yourself. They want you to be able to enjoy your life. They want you they they want you to just be able to enjoy life. Um and you are somebody who's very work oriented and you're like if I don't feel like I've done enough, then I'm just simply not going to have fun. I'm simply not going to treat myself because I don't feel like I deserve it. You are very harsh on yourself and have very high expectations for yourself as well. And, you know, of course, everybody else has high expectations for you as well. Like I was saying earlier, you could be the breadwinner of your family or just you have a lack mentality from being on your own for a while or from being poor once upon a time. So you just work extra, extra hard, go the extra mile every time. And like the people you attract, they see this in you and they're like, they want you to be able to relax. And it's like, in order for the people you attract to like get your attention or in order for you to make time for them, they feel like they have to help you. They're like, yo, like relax and pay attention to me. Like I'm trying to take some stress off you trying to give you a foot massage and you over here ripping and running not paying me no mind <laughs> then we have candy cane angel it's time for a treat absolutely and it's like that's the thing about it and without even knowing like your background or like your um childhood stories or whatever for those of you who did have a rough childhood without even knowing that the people that um you attract they often could just tell like they can tell they're like oh this person probably had no real childhood whether it be from like them wanting you to watch like kid movies like disney movies or something or from them like wanting you to play like little childish games they get to bring the inner child out of you um, and that's one of the things that they try and teach you is that like there's life to be lived. It, there's life outside of work, you know, and there's life outside of family, um, kids, you know, relationship, whatever. On the bottom of the deck, we have change and enlightenment. Yeah. And that's what they try to ignite the spark in you. The the like the fun spark where it's like they're like, hey, like, let's have fun treat yourself you deserve it that's all especially when it's time for a treat they're like you deserve it um and on this bottom of the deck we have messenger serious energy bringing harmony and balance and we have baby steps action follow your intuition before it makes sense yeah heavy, heavy on baby steps the people you attract just want you to slow down they're like slow down it's okay. Take a nap, maybe. Like, have you ever tried taking a nap? <laughs> I don't think you have. Um, and on this one, we have Eclipse Mermaid, a powerful energy shift. And Snow Angel, the signs are with you already. Have Big, like, on intuition, you all work so hard where it's like you all might tend to ignore your intuitive hits. And I'm getting more, like, body like when your physical body is tired you're like no i'm fine i can keep going like whether it be things like headaches back pain stuff like that you like eh, it'll go away if i just work through it like literally no <laughs> literally no that's not how that works sorry for some of you that has been working but it's like you kind of just tune out all of that stuff so that you can just keep keep going and with the powerful energy shift, this is what I meant when I said the people you attract can just tell like some of the things that you've been through or that you've had it rough, that you're used to just doing everything by yourself. They can tell that. And like I said, it just makes them want to take that, take some of those hardships on like so that you're not just doing everything by yourself. Page of Wands. Yeah, so they, want, they just want you to, they want you to experience, they want you to be that immature person sometimes well not even immature be youthful and some of you are very young which is even more so they're like you're too young to be feeling like you know you just have to work 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 you're too young to be feeling like you don't have the time they're like all you have is time really but you're like no no i don't i don't have time for this <laughs> um but i think that is all that i have for you today my pile threes if you're gonna pick another pile i will see you there if not a like if you want to comment if you want to subscribe if you want to maybe even share and i will see y'all next time bye